I said when I read the first book, it was almost like, hey God, it was like my head was hot. The content of the books, hi God, guys. If you've not read this book, hmm, me, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Uche and if this is your first time on this channel and you're not subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button down below so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you're having fun watching my reviews and I hope it's also inspiring you to pick up a book to read. So guys, in this video, I'll be reviewing two books. It's kind of like a series. We have the first book and we have the sequel. The books I'm talking about is Easy Motion Tourist and When Trouble Sleeps. Both books are written by Leia Adinley. So Easy Motion Tourist was published in 2016 and it tells the story of Amaka Mbadiwe and Guy Collins. So this book is set in Lagos State, Nigeria. Guy Collins is a British journalist that has been sent to Nigeria to cover the upcoming elections in Lagos State. So um, Amaka Mbadiwe on her own part is a lawyer who runs this um, NGO, non-governmental organization called um, Street Samaritan. So what she basically does is um, she is in charge of a group of prostitutes. It's not like she's a pimp. She's not a pimp. What she just does is that she just helps these prostitutes. So what these prostitutes on their own part, what they do is um, when they have clients, when they stand on the roads and uh, men pick them up and they have clients, they do not know if this client is a bad man or a good man. So what they just do is they send the um, either the client's name or um, his... Um, plate number is a um, registration number to Amaka. So Amaka has this database of men who patronize this prostitute. So um, she just runs the client's names or car registration numbers on this database. And if these men, they are okay people, if, they, if they've had um, good reviews from, <laughs> from other girls, then uh, she okays it. So she tells them, okay, it's fine to go with this guy. But if the client is a bad person, she just informs these girls. So they know how best to just cut that transaction short. So the focal point of Easy Motion Tourist is um, on this particular evening, a prostitute's body is dumped in the gutter. So her body had been mutilated already and Guy Collins just happened to be in that vicinity. So when the police came, you know, people were around as typical Lagos. Anytime something happens, you just see crowd. People are just there watching, taking videos, taking pictures. So um, this was just the case on this particular night. And um, Guy Collins um, was arrested by um, the police and, you know, he was taken in for questioning and he doesn't know anything that is happening he just came he was just going to give um, an eyewitness um kind of story so um it was in this police station that um amakam by the way um, met guy collins so um she just um used one of her tricks to get him out of the station and the storyline of this book took place in about two days so um it just looks at the lives of these prostitutes and um you know um this human part of them is also looked at prostitutes are human beings too and um, you know society just look at them like the scum of the earth but they have their own story some of these prostitutes is not even by choice it's just because of the situation that they found themselves in and um, one story that is used to um, explain this um, concept very well is Amaka's nanny so Amaka's father is um, an ambassador so she's from a wealthy home and um, she was practically raised by nannies because her parents were not always around and there was this um, nanny of hers that she loved the most um, Auntie Baby so um, with a ton of events and situations um, it just happened that this nanny was sent out of the house after Amaka had um, lied against her Auntie Baby was a Ghanaian immigrant it was hard for her to get another job, so she had to go into prostitution. We just see that um, sometimes it, these ladies do not willingly go into this prostitution. And, um, you know, Amaka just said to doing her own investigation to uncover 
the individuals that are responsible for the killing of this prostitute and also she was able to uncover an organ harvesting would I say corporation so she, um, there was this very big man that was wealthy and um, you know he used dubious means to get his own money so Amaka was able to um, uncover these evil things that were going on uh, even at the risk of her own life this book is a crime fiction so there are lots of crimes that are going on here you know we are looking at prostitution you're seeing everything raw you're looking at this oh god guys this book is very very fast paced when i read the prologue of this book i got hooked i just knew that i was not going to be all right i was not going to be okay if i don't complete this book and luckily for me um i also had the sequel to this book so immediately i finished um easy motion stories i just went into when trouble sleeps immediately so when trouble sleeps was published in 2018 and it is set immediately after um easy motion story so almost like the next day or the same day so it's it picks up from where easy motion story stops and here in when trouble sleeps i don't know if it's right for me to say amaka goes looking for trouble because now she's dealing with politicians politicians that are almost untouchable in um, nigeria because in as much as they say um, nobody is above the law, there are still some people that are above the law. And um, we see the political process here, how elections are rigged, and um, Amaka's life is even at more risks here. She escaped there three times, and we also see um, the corrupt practices of um, policemen, because here um, it started off with um, a boy who was lynched in Oshodi. Oshodi is one of the popular places in Lagos State. So a boy is lynched in Oshudi and um, you know his sister is there helpless and we finally find out that this boy that was lynched was not a thief although he was wrongly accused as being a thief and in Lagos if they just hear thief, 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 they won't even ask what happened before you know they just throw tires on the person's neck, pour petrol, light matches and just burn the person alive. So what actually happened was that um, this person, this boy that was killed gruesomely was the brother of a character in this book, Chioma. So Chioma's boyfriend was a policeman. And this policeman, Kinsley, um, he recorded them while they were having sex. So he had um, um, sex videos of Chioma and he was using it to blackmail her. So she had told her brother, her brother had gone to confront this Kinsley against her own warnings because I think she knew that her ex-boyfriend was a dangerous person. So um, because of this confrontation, this um, policeman just planned with his guys and they killed Choma's brother that way. So Choma was traumatized by this incident that happened. But um, towards the end of the book, we saw that she got her own pound of flesh. And if you're not paying attention, it's very easy for you to miss this part. The um, author did not clearly come out to say, okay, um, she framed Kingsley too. And Kingsley was killed in the same way her brother was killed. But that was um, exactly what happened and um, in as much as I do not support lynching or killing I felt um, Chioma had her own reprieve so if she's cool with it even though now she's a murderer then okay in when trouble sleeps Amaka is going after two different individuals she's going after Chief Ojo Chief Ojo is the son-in-law of one of the kingmakers in Lagos State. So when the candidate for the Lagos State gubernatorial elections was um, killed in a plane crash, um, the kingmaker Otumba Oluawu, whose daughter is married to Chief Ojo, um, decided to make um, Chief Ojo the next governor of Lagos State. But Chief Ojo has so many skeletons in his cupboard. So Chief Ojo um, sleeps with underage girls and he also uh, beats them. So he's just this sick pervert. And Amaka had videos of um, of Chief Ojo and Chief Ojo didn't want these videos to be public knowledge because once he goes out to the public, he's doomed. And um, even his father-in-law didn't even know about this, even though his father-in-law kept asking him, what is it about you that can kill your political career? And he kept denying it. And there's this other guy, Malik. Malik is the owner of this um, establishment is called the harem so what he does is he procures girls different kind of girls for 
influential men who have the money to pay so um he kind of like fulfills their sexual um fantasies their sexual urges in this place the harem so amaka was trying to get one of the girls to snitch on this establishment even though this building this the harem it's in an undisclosed place even the girls that are taken to this place they do not know the place so you'd have to sneak a phone in to give out the location of the place so this book was kind of like um a cat chasing mice race it was very very crazy amaka was doing risky things and even when she finally got captured by uh, malik ha god at that point when she got captured by malik i almost didn't want to read again but i just knew i needed to complete this book because the book is that interesting the book is spot on but you know i was just too scared because amaka is the protagonist here I'm rooting for Amaka. If you read the book, you also root for Amaka too. And she's in the face of danger. I mean, okay, there was a point where um, Malik wanted to record her sleeping with a dog. Imagine. It was just crazy. There were several attempts on her life. And one thing about the two books is um, from the beginning, from the first book, um, Easy Motion Tories, you're looking at a police detective. I think it's the DPO, um, Inspector Ibrahim. Like... This man is a bad cop. His hands are not entirely clean, but um, as the book progresses, even into the sequel, Inspector Ibrahim has a chance to redeem himself. And even one of the policemen, Hot Temper, in Easy Motion Tories, we see where he kills a suspect in the police station. And it was unbecoming for a police officer to do that. But um, as the book progresses, he's still in the force. And it was almost like he was redeeming himself. One thing about uh, these books is um, for the first book, um, Easy Motion Tories, it ends in a cliffhanger. Suspense will nearly kill you. So I'm just happy I had when trouble sleep. Because I'm imagining with the suspense, with the cliffhanger, Easy Motion Tories ended in. I'm thinking if I didn't have access to When Trouble Sleeps, what would I have done? So there is this um, individual, um, The Voice, who we do not know. So The Voice is mentioned very well in Easy Motion Tories. But when we get to When Trouble Sleeps, there is no mention of him. And, you know, with the way the first book ended, I was expecting um, there to be a build up of The Voice in the second book. But... It's not a worry. I'm actually hoping there will be a third book in this series and even a fourth book because um, I just love how everything is set. The crime fiction. Guys, these books are just, you just need to read them. I said when I read the first book, it was almost like, hey God, it was like my head was hot. It was very, very hot. And the chapters are very, very short. So guys, it's very, very easy to read. Within a day, it's very, very possible for you to complete this book within hours. Not even a day. A day is too much. If you're a very fast reader, you complete this book in hours. But I'm just giving you like a day. Or it just doesn't matter. But this book is very, very easy to read. The flow, the sequence, everything, it just blends into one another. And there are so many characters in these um, books and they have their own backstories. So it's possible that you might be reading about a new character and you're thinking, have I come across a character before? Okay, what relevance does this character have to play in this book? So there are so many characters. In the second book, When Trouble Sleeps, everything about Nigerian politics, the games that are played. Yes, I know this is fiction, but I feel reality informs it. And we see the bit about election rigging and Amaka is just one smart woman. You really, really love the character Amaka. And I also love the romance that played out between Amaka and Guy in Easy Motion Tories. I was expecting to see more of that in When Trouble Sleeps, but um, it wasn't leveraged upon because there were so many other things that were going on. But um, towards the end of the book, we got to see where their relationship is at. These books are wonderful books to read. If you've not read this book, hmm. When Trouble Sleeps was published in 2018. We're in 2021. Guys, what are you waiting for? The, the funny thing about it is, um, yes, I had the book, but I wasn't really eager to read the book because I was looking at the cover, um, green. It wasn't really jumping at me. It was just there. But the content of the books, hi, God, guys. Hey, I'm not even exaggerating. If I'm exaggerating, I'll tell you. I'm not even exaggerating. These books are, in fact, they should be 
they should be steeped in gold. Like they should be kept in a museum. Leia and then they really, really outdid themselves in this ones. And these books are one of the best crime fictions that is coming out from Nigeria, that is coming out from Africa. Guys, if you've not read this book, hmm, me, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go and read it. Please, I'm begging you, please go and read it. Read these books. I'm not even hyping it. Okay. When I completed the books, I, I decided to go on Instagram to see um what other people thought about this book. And I met this um Instagram user who was raving about the book because I was like, thank God, I'm not the only one. So guys, go and read this book. You'd have fun, you would enjoy the books. At some point you find yourself laughing. The humor is there, the humor is just so heartfelt, and um, you know, it just speaks to your emotions. It just tells you so much about the rot that is going on in this country, Nigeria, and Nigeria has a very long way to go. As a people, we first have to deal with our mindset and um, the fact that Amaka just goes around Lagos playing this good Samaritan and... ha, huh, guys, Amaka is one hell of a character. She's my favorite character. So, um, guys, that is basically it about this book. When Trouble Sleeps ends with a cliffhanger. So. I don't know if there will be other books in this series but I'm really really hoping that there are more books to come in this series featuring Amaka and maybe Guy Collins because there are still some questions that need to be answered. Okay, so um, what happened to Ibrahim, Malik, how did they end this case and also the voice. There are just these questions that need to be answered and I feel a third book or even a fourth book are going to um, answer these questions very well. So guys, that is all about these books um if you've read them let me know what you think in the comment section down below come let's discuss because this book i'm all out for this book i really had a wonderful time reading this book if you've been following me on my instagram page you see that i've been raving so much about the songs that have the same title with um, these books i've been raving so much about it i've just been having fun creating videos of the book and um, the songs so guys for easy motion tourists um easy motion tourists was actually um sung by safatai rolling dollar so um then there's another version of easy motion tourists by king sonny Ade. guys i'll be dropping the link to these songs in my description box down below so you can just click on it and have a swell time with the songs the songs are just are just good they just give you this good vibe you're having a nice time you know just dancing to the song easy motion tourist so guys apart from that then there's when trouble sleeps so when trouble sleeps yanga go wake is a song by fella anikola kuti so guys this song is mind-blowing i'll be dropping a link to in the description box down below so guys these songs are oh my god i would have loved to play this song on this video but youtube is going to slam me with copyright claims so i'll just be when trouble sleeps young go we come waiting in the fine palava in the fine palava you go get to you so guys don't forget to click on the like button so that youtube recommends this video to other youtube users and also share this video with your friends share this video with your family and um click on the subscribe button down below so you get notified whenever i shoot out a new video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my very next video stay safe and keep reading bye guys